art just makes me relaxed. It's my peaceful way of tuning into myself. I'm Natalie Vale and I'm the owner of Pet Picasso Designs. I do everything. I paint, market, I ship off all of my paintings all around the world. Before painting, I was a dental assistant and in my free time, I ended up painting my pet Lacey. COVID hit and then I started up my business. What picture they want to use, the color background that they want. I like to make things more fun with my paintings. I only use acrylic paint at the moment. It dries quick and I'm able to add a lot of detail. I already have the background painted for um, the pet portrait. Next, I'll start by painting the actual pet. I always start with the eyes first and then the nose after that. I just like to get the facial features out of the way. When I start painting, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, this does not look good. And then everything comes together at the end. The more details I add, the better it turns out. And I'm a perfectionist, which is terrible because I'm very hard on myself. I've had people in the past say, you know, this is a lot of money, but people don't understand how detailed the paintings are. For example, my smallest size takes around 10 plus hours to finish. Just gonna put my colors out that I use the most. I made my own logo. I started up an Instagram page. TikTok was my way of really getting my name out there. If you're a pet lover, stop scrolling. I went viral um, January of, of 2022, posted it the night before it went viral. And I woke up the next morning and my mom, she's a huge supporter of me and my TikTok. And she was on it and she was like, Natalie, you need to go look at your TikTok right now. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, it is blowing up. And it went from 400 to like 600,000 views in probably 20 minutes. It was going that fast. And I was like, this is crazy. And then I started getting orders um, like left and right. So I've shipped my paintings out to Australia. I shipped one off to Switzerland, England, and around the UK. It's really cool. I never thought in a million years that I would be shipping all around the world. <laughs> the craziest pets I've painted would have to be a gecko. I've never painted a gecko until this year, and that turned out to be one of the coolest paintings I've ever completed. Um, I've also painted uh, potbelly pigs and a horse, which is not crazy, but that's really cool to do other than dogs and cats. I mean, everybody's gonna want their pet painted. It's never gonna die down, I feel like. I have so much joy whenever people want me to paint their pet, especially ones that I've passed. It makes me feel so good inside that I'm able to capture their pet on a canvas for them to have forever. I'm 22 and I went from being a dental assistant to a full-time artist. Pretty crazy how I'm just this young, but I'm a business owner. I would just say, go for it, take that chance. You never know what you're capable of. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.